So today we're just learning the basics of computer decision making, just the building blocks. But I just want to try to like jazz you up, inspire you a little bit about this because this is how computers make more complicated decisions. So think about a self-driving car. It's cruising down the highway. What's really happening as that car is staying in its lane and monitoring the position of other vehicles on the roadway and deciding, it's making millions and millions of decisions every second, right? Decisions like, should I turn the wheel slightly to one direction or the other direction? Should I slow down or speed up? It's analyzing input from a bunch of different sensors. And essentially what's happening is it's making these decisions over and over and over again really, really quickly based on this data um, in order to, to steer the car. Um, so, you know, these type of really simple conditionals, if else, you know, conditional expressions, conditional statements that we're learning about right now may seem really basic. And the decisions that we make based on them may seem very simplistic. But when you make lots of these decisions, and when you make them really, really quickly, the ways in which the, so the, the ways that uh, the computer controls the car, there just aren't that many of them, right? It's like speed up, slow down, turn left, turn right. I mean, that's it. So there aren't actually that many decisions to make, but I have to make them really quickly and I have to make them obviously very accurately, right? In order to keep the occupants safe, right? And to avoid hitting things and running off the road and stuff like that. So, you know, this, the, the more complicated forms of computer decision-making that you encounter when you use some of the really astonishing things that you encounter today in modern technology, like self-driving cars, automatic translation services, you know, digital assistants, you know, Alexa, stuff like this, they're all at the end of the day based on these very small primitives. So when you stack these up, when you make lots of decisions and when you make them very quickly, you can end up building really astonishing things. So don't be discouraged by the fact that what we're doing right now is simple because once you build up these simple things and you exploit the fact that computers can make these decisions really quickly and make a lot of them very accurately, um, you can use that capability to do some really cool stuff.